G'day, welcome back to Down the Shed with Byron. And today, I'm gonna to have a crack at fitting one of these air dams to the old GQ Patrol. Let's see how we go. So a little rundown on my patrol. Uh, aftermarket turbo, non-intercooled, uh, not tuned yet. Fuel screws slightly wound in a bit. Cooling system, standard radiator, upgraded um, water pump, upgraded cooling fan to the Mitsubishi fan hub. Uh, that dropped maybe eight degrees when I did that mod. Uh, the radiator cap, just giving it a crack. I think it's the 1.1 bar. Uh, steel bull bar, spotties, rock sliders, rear bar, twin tires, rear drawers, fridge, uh, roof rack. So I'm, you know, all those kind of basic weights you got to add to the factor of loading this engine up. I think I forgot long range fuel tank, lift kit, bigger wheels. Um, done a couple of runs this morning, went and picked up a trail load of mulch, coming back up the hill, uh, roughly doing 80 kilometers an hour, and got exhaust temps, 300, and engine cooling temps of about 85. Uh, I'm using a Red Arc um, coolant sensor, or coolant temp gauge, so I, they're pretty reliable. Uh, then I did a run Picked up the wife's car, giving that a bit of a birthday, and it's easier just to throw it on the car trailer and drop it off and pick it up again. So coming back up my, my hill, uh, got close to 102 degrees coming up the hill, uh, but then I backed off and it dropped back down to about 99. So what I've done now, just throwing the camper trailer on, we're gonna go for a quick half an hour cruise down the road, see what average temps I get sitting on 100, uh, throw that air dam on, and cruise back home and see what difference it made. So sitting on about 100, I uh, fluctuated between 92 degrees to 95-ish uh, engine cooling temps. So I'm gonna find the nearest park up, pull over and we'll change that air dam out and see if there's any difference on the way home. So here's a comparison of what they um, look like side by side. The original GQ one and obviously universal between GQ and GU. The problem I've got with fitting the new one is that my custom bull bar doesn't allow for that um, guard to go in place. So uh, I'm gonna have to go home, I'll cut this off, fit it and do another run and I'll let you know how we go. So with a modification or two to the front bar, fits nicely, bolts straight up. And there's plenty of clearance here for that um, front drag link to go through. But I'm actually missing, there's meant to be a rubber flap that goes from here up towards the bottom of the radiator there. But, oh, well, I might sort that out later. Yep, and um, We'll do that run again, see what temperatures we get this time. And I forgot to mention that today is currently 29 degrees. Just if you're interested in what the temperature is for the day. So I'm back. After that little test run again, um, pretty surprised. I had temperatures between the 87, 88 mark, um, just cruising at 100 kilometers an hour up to about 92, 93, going back up a hill. Uh, trying to give it a bit to go up. Um, but then as soon as you started coasting again, average about 89. So I reckon it's a good mod. Four bolts, um, cost me about $115 for that um, guard and it was free delivery. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put the link in the description of where I brought it from, just in case you're interested. Um, and if you're wondering how the air um, dam works, I'll uh, give you a quick rundown. So what's happening? 
As air's going through the radiator and through your shroud. And the way this is angled is creating a vacuum at the bottom here. So what I understand is it's uh, drawing all the hot air out of the engine bay down and out. So I found that when um, you started coasting again, that the temps would drop, um, not super quick, but you'd see them come straight back down again. Um, I reckon for the mod that I've done, it takes less than five minutes to do. As long as your bolts aren't snapped off in there, that's another story. Um, and for $115, you've got nothing to lose. So hopefully this video helps you out if you're thinking about doing it. Um, this may vary depending on your setup. But otherwise, yeah, take it easy.